let's consider one problem uh, based on the minimum heat that we have uh, studied um, let's uh, consider this problem so we want to design a data structure which can perform the following uh, two operations efficiently one is that given an element we want to add this into the collection and the other problem other is we want to delete the median so we will define the median to be an element whose rank is uh, n by 2 that means that there should be exactly n by 2 numbers which are uh, uh, bigger than this number right so for example if i give you this sequence of numbers so 3 8 9 12 and 18 if i ask you the median then it's a uh, uh, 9 because there are uh, five numbers 5 by 2 uh, is uh, 5 by 2 is 2 so the rank 3 elements means that there has to be exactly uh, two numbers which are bigger than this so 9 is the median so when i say that the rank is n by 2 plus 1 essentially means that there are exactly n by 2 numbers which are bigger than this so now when i delete the median from this collection you should return me 9 and you delete from this collection so now if i ask you the median so what will be the median now so n by 2 is uh, a, uh, 4 is the number of elements that we have now and if i have to you know, you know if i look at n by 2 that is two numbers so we still have two numbers which are bigger than the median that's what is the expectation so now if i call you what is the median so 8 is a median so we should be able to delete uh, 8 from this collection so after we delete 8 we may wa want to add some 20 25 then again we might uh, delete this function so we have a sequence of operation each operation is uh, either adding a number or deleting the median so one uh, easy way to do it is just maintain an array right so if you want to add just add at the end and if you want the median just uh, apply the uh, median finding algorithm so this will partition into two sets and uh, uh, you will exactly get uh, this is the median which is the median element you can just delete this and uh, uh, bring the last element and keep it here so the problem is that uh, with this method uh, order one we can do add but the delete actually takes uh, order n time so if i do uh, sequence of n operations and uh, order n number of these operations is uh, let's say delete minimum then uh, the total complexity of this algorithm will be the order n into uh, order n which is order n square right so we can roughly assume that uh, there will be order n number of add operations order n number of uh, uh, delete median operations given n sequence of numbers if one of them is too costly that is order n then the entire complexity of this algorithm uh, becomes uh, order n square so we will look at uh, how to solve this problem uh, uh, we will see how both can be done both add and delete can be done in order log n so we will uh, we want to do delete much faster uh, in that's in log, uh, log n but uh, we are okay to do add little bit slowly instead of order one we can do it in order log n so we look at a data structure uh, which will enable us to do both uh, delete as well as delete median in order log n so if you do a sequence of n operations each operation is going to be order log n uh, irrespective of whether you are doing add or delete median so the total complexity of the algorithm will be n log n if both can be done in order log n so uh, the idea is to use uh, two heaps right so uh, since i need the median i'll keep all the elements uh, uh, including the median all the numbers smaller than the median in one heap and in the second heap i'm going to keep all the elements which are bigger than the median okay so that's the invariant we have a uh, one heap which will contain the median all the numbers smaller than or equal to the median and the other heap will have all the numbers which are greater than the median so now uh, so in the uh, let's say that the small uh, small heap which will keep track of all the numbers which are smaller than the median including the median we will maintain a max heap here we'll quickly see why do you need a max heap here and uh, ns will uh, denote the number of elements in this heap and the other heap the numbers which are all greater than the median so we'll call it as heap big heap right so hb is the uh, this is going to be a min heap we'll see why uh, this is going to be a minimum heap and the nb would denote uh, the number of elements since the small heap contains all the numbers uh, including median and the numbers which are smaller than or equal to the median uh, see so if the number of elements uh, in both the sets if you know, the total number of elements is even then both will have the same number of elements right ns will be equal to nb 
but if the number of elements is uh, odd then uh, one of the one of the side will have one more element than the other element since the median is in the uh, uh, smaller side that is smaller heap that is hs uh, so uh, the ns in that case will be uh, one more than nb so either the two sides will have uh, uh, same number of elements or the heap which contains the median will have one more element than the median so if since uh, so if you want me to give you the median then uh, so median is going to be there in the left side the small heap and the uh, i so the hs will contain all the numbers uh, including the median all the numbers which are smaller than the median so if i have the max heap here then what's going to happen is that if you ask me to uh, delete the median i know that the median is going to be the root of the max heap so i can re delete that node from the um, uh, smaller heap right hs okay so uh, since uh, hs contains all the numbers including the median so and since i'm uh, including the median and all the numbers smaller than the median so if i maintain the maximum heap it's easy to find what will be the median of the element so if i have to find the median so the median is going to be h of s0 so if you want to return uh, with the delete median algorithm wants you to uh, remember the median and return the median you can remember that it is going to be h of s of 0 so once you remember this what you want to do is that you have to delete the maximum element from the hs uh, that is the uh, the numbers um, this is the let's call it as this is a small heap right so this is let's call it as a left hand side heap and the right hand side heap left hand side heap is the one which contains all the uh, numbers smaller than or equal to the median including the median and the right hand side median will contain all the numbers which are uh, strictly greater than the median so you delete it from this right so what you when you delete this the median is gone but um, if you want to maintain this invariant that anything which is there on the top of the first heap that is the left hand side heap will be with the median so um, so what happens in this case is that the, the both the sides have the same number of elements you have deleted one number from the uh, left side median the uh, left side heap so the right hand side heap might have more number of elements in this case what we want to do is that the median is not in the left hand side now the median is on the right hand side so what we want to take is the smallest number on the right hand side and add it back to uh, the left hand side heap so if the number of elements on the right hand side that is the nb heap is greater than the number of elements on the left hand side heap then you delete one uh, uh, node from the right hand side heap and add it back to the left hand side heap right so basically we are doing uh, uh, one deletion for sure but in addition to that you may have to delete one from the right hand side heap and add it to the left hand side heap so uh, delete maximum uh, delete minimum and uh, the add operations everything is order log n so the delete median can be implemented in order log n time so now how do we add so if i have to add x the first question that i ask you is whether this x is greater than the median remember that uh, the rim median uh, is on the left hand side heap which is at the root so i just ask the question whether x is greater than uh, the current median if x is greater than the current median this has to be handed to the right hand side heap so when I right hand side heap is denoted by HB, the number of elements is there. So when I add this, but when I add it to the right hand side heap, uh, it may happen that the number of elements uh, on the right hand side heap might become more now. So uh, this will uh, <coughs> change the balance, right? So this will imbalance the two heaps. Uh, so what I do is that if the number of elements on the right hand side heap is bigger than the number of elements on the left hand side heap, delete one node from the right hand side heap and add it to the left hand side heap just delete one from the right hand side heap and add it to the left hand side heap okay so if the x that you are trying to add is smaller than the median or equal to the median so then this has to be handed to the left hand side heap right so after you add into the left hand side heap what may happen is that there may be still imbalance problem the number of elements in the left hand side is either equal to the number of elements on the right hand side or in uh, if the total number of elements is odd uh, the number of elements on the left hand side could be one more than the number of elements on the right hand side but if it is uh, greater than one more than the number of elements on the right hand side then 
we have to delete a number that is the maximum element from the left hand side element and add it to the uh, right hand side here right so say every time so when you add a number uh, if the number of elements in the heap that you're going to add becomes too much right then you have to delete uh, one from there and uh, add it to the other heap so the delete add and um, so you you for sure you will do uh, one add but you may in some cases you may have to delete one element and add it to the other element other heap so in any case uh, so the both the add and delete mean and delete max are all the operations uh, uh, which are done in order log n time so remember that when you maintain the delete min is called only on the you know, minimum heap and the delete maximum is called only on the uh, maximum heap right so uh, so uh, all these operations happens in order log n time so uh, in conclusion if you want to do these two operations uh, essentially add and delete minimum uh, uh, delete uh, delete the median uh, so we can maintain two heaps one is the max heap and the another one is the uh, mean heap uh, in the uh, maximum heap uh, which we call it as the left hand side heap uh, which contains all the numbers uh, smaller than or equal to the median and the right hand side heap is a minimum heap which contains all the numbers which are uh, greater than the median right so when you add uh, depending on whether you're adding on the too many elements or uh, when you delete where you know, the number of elements in the heap that you have deleted on the left hand side becomes too small then you do you know, rebalancing rebalancing is basically adding one, some deleting from one heap and adding into the uh, other heap 